Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and this is what they came up with. And it uh, they've actually written for permission to use it, so I, I'm not going to worry about it. That's uh, that's up to them. But it, it's pretty small already. It's only 1.6. We're just going to trace it, and outline trace and clip art normally works pretty much the good as good as anything else. But like he said, it's got some. Uh, funny looking lines. I'm actually gonna put it in red so maybe it'll stand out. Then go up to object, group and ungroup. And it traced everything pretty good. Uh, of course, you're not gonna want that. And if you do, there's better ones out there that you can get. Uh, I think everything up top's pretty good, but it needs square corners. So I'm not gonna do it all, but what I would suggest doing would be to Double click with your shape tool and then select both these and then right click and turn that into a line. Now, I would do all of them before I do the next step, turn them into a line so I'm just right clicking. That one could be just moved up a little bit, a little bit, and then right click and turn it into a line. Okay, we need all these lines to be on the same line. So grab all of them and go right here to align nodes horizontally. Wow. And then you could, you know, there's a lot uh, you could do here, align vertically. And it's going to straighten all that up. And then you would just have to kind of look at the um, real logo and kind of move things over. I would uh, actually take both those and convert them into a line. So, and then ones that you don't need, delete them. Then you can actually grab that one, hold down the shift and grab that one. You can see it's a curve because it had handles. So we're just gonna create them to a line. And then once you've got it all, you know, like the top of the M's a little bit messed up uh, because it does have squared off corners, just take a, the shape tool and add a node. There's already a node there. Let's just take all these, well, Let's actually, let's actually delete this one and then move this one up just a little bit. We can move it anyway. And just select all these and right click and turn them into a line. <clears throat> now it didn't do that one very good because there was two and there were two here. So let's just do the same thing. Right click and turn it into a line. Well, basically I would go through here and get rid of all these nodes and maybe even select all these nodes and right click and turn them into a line. And then just go back and do our uh, horizontal alignment, vertical alignment, and you can actually make a hotkey for this to probably save you steps. And then you would just need to make that even. You know, let's do one more, align it vertically. That didn't look right. I guess it is, it just looks off. You can always bring in the indexing line to see if it looks good and it does. And then to get that one the same shape, the same distance off, what you could do is go the parallel dimension tool and measure that line right there and we've got 0 0.04. Well, we only have 0 0.03. So let's get rid of this. Take your nudge factor and set it on point, I don't know if it was point zero or point one, and then grab these two nodes and just left arrow key. So you made up that distance. You know, and go through there and knock out the nodes that aren't necessary, especially when you're doing lines you know, like you don't need all these lines and then just, and you could grab, you all, you, you, you wish I could tell you to convert them all to a line at one time, but you might mess up more than you think. So I'm gonna right click, turn them into a line. Now these are all a little bit different and that one must, we have to turn these two into a line. It's a little bit of work, but it's not bad. Go through here and align these nodes. 
horizontally. Now the M probably a little bit off because we did something. So if you'll take a an indexing line and you can see that part of the M is a little bit off, well just take your shape tool and just move it over till it snaps to that line. Now I don't know if he wants the inner part, but the inner parts would even be the easiest because uh, there's only four nodes. But I, I'm thinking in his original he didn't have the inner part, so we're just going to select all those and turn them into a line. And look how it sharpened that up. Same thing here. You've only got four nodes. Right click to a line. Now, if you don't need them, if you're not going to use this is the young man that makes belt buckles. Just make sure you don't get more nodes than you want. You could just delete those. You know, you don't have to delete them all at one time, but you can delete those if you're just wanting the symbol of the Texas A&M. You know, like here, we didn't clean up the round corners, but you know, just delete some nodes, delete some nodes, right click, turn it into a line. You know, once you do that on the both sides, then you can go here and align horizontally, you know, make them the same. Really pretty easy. Just a little bit of thinking. I mean, especially on the part of the A, um, there's just three nodes. Select them all, right click to align. Whoop. There we go. Anyway, and then after you get it all done, I don't know what if he's going to do it but just uh, smart fill it. And then, then you have your inside and your outside part. He originally had lost his inside part. And if you like that and you think it looks pretty good, one thing you can always do is since it's really the same size, you could always turn your intermittent one yellow, group it together, take away the outline for a second, group it all. Got his duplicate distance. Always have this set on zero, zero. And this is the main reason. So make a duplicate of that guy. And then just put it right on top. And what another little trick you can do. We've got the yellow uh, selected. Go up your transform, trans, uh, transparency tool. And you'll be able to see the black underneath there. And I think we're dead on. I mean, a little bit right there that's a little bit off, but, uh, and that could be fixed uh, just because you can just move that out of the way a little bit. Now, this is where you could probably nudge better than you could, uh, I've actually got an outline there. Let's take away that outline or just nudge that outline. Just make it Double check your, you know, um, you know, like that. You can tell that that line's off. So if we look back at the yellow one, that's why I made a copy. You know, um, let's turn it back to a line. Well, yep. See that line is just a little bit different than the other part of the A. It's just a little bit off and do the same thing. Just, you know, bump it out just ever so much. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.